What piece of equipment has the greatest influence on sound? That's a good question, and it's from Tom in Walnut Port, Pennsylvania. Hi, Paul. I'm not sure how to ask this question. Well, so far, Tom, you're doing a great job, but here goes. Which piece of equipment, power amp or preamp, has the most influence on what music sounds like? Thank you, Tom. <coughs> well, my specific answer has always been loudspeakers. I, in, in any chain, I believe it to be the loudspeaker because the loudspeaker is the most flawed piece of equipment that we will have in our, or headphones, whatever's reproducing the sound back into sound waves, that's the one that's the most difficult to build correctly. It's the one that is flawed the most. There, I mean, I, I've talked about this before. I can, I, can, I can build you a piece of electronics that is near perfect. I mean, everything, phase, amplitude, frequency response, distortion, noise, it, pretty much perfect. Speakers, not so much. They are really hard. They're 2 to 3 dB, you know, at, at the best. And, and they aren't flat. And even if they are flat, you don't want to listen to them because then you have to contend with the room. So speakers, for sure. But your question was more specific, I think, at least what I'm reading here, about electronics. And boy, that's, that's a tough one because... I'm going to have to say the power amp. I, I know that's not a very popular thing. Years ago, Ivor Tiefenbrum and, and the folks over at Lynn would have, have said the source. By far the source. If you can't get it off the source correctly, then nothing you do afterwards is going to make a hill of beans a difference to how it sounds, right? And there's, there's good logic there. I just don't necessarily agree with it. I look at which piece of equipment has the toughest job. <clears throat> and by far, the power amp in a system, if we're just talking about electronics, has a really tough job. There, you're trying to take small signals, amplify them up to very large voltage levels on the order of 20, 30, 40 volts out, have those volts converted to current so that you have voltage and current, so we have wattage and power, move very quickly, connect up to an inductive load, something that is going to kick back and, and struggle against you trying to make those motors, speakers, uh, react the way you want. I mean, the job of a power amp is monumental. It's really hard. A preamp, look, we make preamps, and I can tell you they have a huge impact on the way the system sounds. Take our BHK signature preamp or the Stellar uh, gain cell preamp. Those, those have very tough jobs, and they can make or break a system. But as we're going down the hierarchy, I always start at the speakers, and I work my way down to the power amp, then the preamp, and last but not least, the source. Now, that can be argued a hundred different ways, and it is, and there'll be a hundred different people that don't agree with me, but for those reasons, and maybe it's just the engineer in me, maybe, you know, I look at, well, speakers, no. I mean, no one's going to argue with me about speakers. Here you have something that has to interact with your room. I mean, the speakers are a nightmare. But once we get into amplification um, in that whole chain, whether it be source or power amplifier or preamplifier, yeah, we can, we can, we can have a, a pleasant debate over a glass of red wine in front of a crackling fire with something, what is it? Chestnuts roasting on that fire. Have you ever had a roasted chestnut? I was talking to Terry the other day. We were, I don't know what, we, oh, we were walking to my son's house to uh, have Thanksgiving and had that chestnuts roasting in an open fire. And I thought, I've never had a chestnut. I don't even know what the hell it is. Is it an acorn? I have no idea. Never had a roasted chestnut. I read about it. I sing about it. Well, I don't sing, 
you don't want me to sing, guaranteed. Anyway, uh, so there you go. That's my, I'm going to say the power amp. And, uh, and the last thing I'll say about that, I would say people in general, I know this to be a fact, people in general pay the least amount of attention to their power amps and the most attention to their DACs, sometimes their preamps or their sources. So we see turnover, like we sell lots of DACs and we sell lots of, of, of sources. And we don't sell as many power amps and preamps. Just don't. And it's, we're not just us. Uh, other manufacturers have the same thing because power amps, they just sit there like a big box. And unless you've got a Macintosh uh, with the big meters swinging on the front, they don't even do anything. So we tend to ignore them. They work. They power our speakers. People just don't realize how important they are and what a huge difference sonically they can make. And it's a shame. But we're working. And through these videos and other informational pieces, we'll try and fix some of those deficiencies in people's knowledge. Okay? Thanks for the question. It was a good one. And I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye.